I've got lower back pain for 12 years and quite a bit of uh, pain on the right side of his lower back, but he's got a lot of right hip pain. So we're going to work with the lower back by doing a program uh, of uh, trigenics, chiropractic, osteopathy combination approach to helping him with the disc problems he has in his lower back as well as uh, non-surgical spinal disc decompression and laser, magnetic laser. We're going to do all of that for the back, but the hip still needs dealing with, so we're going to actually, he's got a bit of a coxarthrosis or a uh, degenerative joint disease going on in the hip. We're going to try to open that hip up as much as possible today for him before we start working on the back. So that's what we're going to do today is a trigenics non-surgical operation for the hip. Uh, so we're going to look at that right hip. We've got the uh, all the different aspects of what it is that we need to work on, red being the muscles that have contracted and are short, blue, uh, blue are weak, uh, hip flexors are weak, external rotators, extensors are very short and contracted, he's got some scar tissue and fibrosis of the uh, fascia and uh, fascial tissue of the iliac crest, weakness of this uh, hip flexor, the psoas. So we're going to get working on the right side right now. So if we look at, now I'm actually pushing Ludwig's, Rahu, mm -hmm. I'm pushing his legs out. And you can see this one's coming out a little bit more. It's not the best of shape, but this one doesn't come out at all. So there's absolutely no uh, internal rotation of this hip. Um, and if you watch his hip moving as I do this, you'll see the entire hip coming up. So all of that restriction of movement is coming from this hip joint here. Uh, which, uh, now if we look at this side, you see how much movement he actually has in this leg without the hip coming up. Again, if we look at the other side starting from here, you see the whole entire hip just completely moving here because this joint is not rotating. So we're going to try to open that up. The muscles that we're going to work on, piriformis muscles coming in and attaching to this bone, which laterally rotate the femur, the lower bone, the upper bone of the uh, of the um, yeah of the leg, and uh, actually, if you want to bring the camera down here, we can take a look as well at these the feet level. So this is pretty indicative of, and we could look at the X-rays. Do we have the X-rays up? Uh, mm -hmm. There's quite a difference in the leg length. We're going to see whether or not after the procedure we've made any difference in that leg length. Uh, there's a possibility we may not make a difference, only because of the amount of degenerative joint disease in this hip, uh, whether we can lower that femur down a little bit uh, or also extend the and rotate the pelvis in this direction, which will bring the whole leg down. I'm not sure about whether we can do that or not, but uh, we're going to see today if we can actually do that. So I'm going to use this uh, heavy vibrational device, uh, which is fabulous. Uh, I've been using this for years. Uh, it vibrates at many different frequencies. It's, it's called the vibrocussor. Uh, but we're going to be using it on a high frequency. Simulate the nerve receptors in here as much as possible. So we're applying some transverse distortional pressure. So we're overloading all the uh, sensors here. Good. So we've got, before it starts to come up now, we've got this much movement. That much. And then it starts to come up, but from here, he's still not going, we still haven't done it the other way, but from here to here, we now have a lot more than we had, almost, well, not quite as much as the other side, but certainly a lot more than we had before. Here we are, we're going to be coming in on that lateral rotator, which is right here, which comes down and attaches to that hip bone right there. Mm -hmm. 
soil. Good lads. Right in there. Trying to lengthen that rectus a little bit. See that foot's coming down a lot more now. And if we look at this from over here with the camera, you'll see that there's still a leg length discrepancy, but there's not nearly as much. That's quite a big difference. Now that's really good news for him because uh, you know if we didn't get any change at all, it would have meant that all of the deterioration of that leg length discrepancy was coming from the coming from the hip joint, but it's evidently not. Otherwise, it wouldn't have functionally lengthened like that. So that's a good sign for him. We're going to uh, lengthen the oblique muscles that wrap around this side of him here. They're all completely contracted and short, and they have an effect as a corset into this hip area like this, coming around. Thank you, sister. Gloria, ya solo. Good box. The last thing. Good box. Oh. Okay. And he's got some uh, lumbar disc uh, protrusions and prolapses to we'll look at. I'm just going to do a light mobilization on it. There it goes there. Here. No, that side's okay. And that's it. Let's get up now and see the difference on the hip movement. Yeah, it's plastic, right? It's what? Plastic, uh, possible to move. And you feel rubbery, more, yeah, more movement. Yeah. Possible software. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, explain what happened here. What happened here, this big mark you have here? Uh, well, doctor will take measures from muscles, it's working or not, then. but electrodes was here, here, but, yeah. and the uh, last place was uh, but, um, like... Uh, in, uh, Inside, electrodes. Yeah, huh? electrode here and here. It was very painful, and then I feel like... But after that, it was uh, one or two weeks, it was not pain anymore, uh -huh. it's very good. But just take some measures, uh -huh. uh, then it's uh, coming... Change color. Yeah, a small place yeah. uh, was kind blue, of they burnt it, but yeah. it's coming a little yeah. bit more and more. Now it's about three years. Three and, years later. And all the time coming bigger. Yeah, yeah. And change it's color, of course. Mm -hmm. color. Anyway, there, so there you have your hip procedure, uh, and uh, there you have the outcome of this. Uh, this is Dr. O and the Dr. O Show. Thanks a lot for watching our Trigenics video today. Make sure that you subscribe to the Trigenics YouTube channel so that you're always sent information on the latest Trigenics techniques and methods, as well as the latest Trigenics success stories. This is Dr. O and the Dr. O Show.